In this video, we're going to look at integrating Salesforce.com with ActiveCampaign. Coming right up. First things first, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and hit the little bell to get the notification so that you never miss a video coming out. This all helps the YouTube algorithm learn that people want to see Salesforce videos like this one. So do that now. Now it would be remiss of me if I didn't mention the elephant in the room, which is Salesforce has a marketing automation tool or two in their suite. There's Pardot and there's Marketing Cloud. So why am I creating this video about active campaign? Well, I think one of the things of being in the ecosystem for 12 years is that I'm very bullish on the Salesforce products, but that doesn't mean that there's not other products out there that can be very useful and complementary in a business. Pardot, I think, has come a long way since the acquisition, but it's still at a really high price point to get started. So Active Campaign, I feel, is a really great marketing automation tool that comes in at a price point that most small businesses can get started with, get going, and then look at more advanced tools in the future. So let's get started with this integration. So I've got two tabs open right now. This tab here is a brand new fresh active campaign trial that I've just started. It has one contact being me, the user who created it. And this tab here is a Salesforce org that I use. It's a trailhead org, uh, which I like because it's pre-populated with some data. So let's head on over to the app exchange. search for active campaign and we're going to install that now and we go through all the usual app exchange steps okay so for the purposes of this demo I'm going to install for admins only Now this is typically one of those apps that takes a while to install, so we'll probably get the message to come back later. And as predicted, there we go, so we'll click done and we'll come back and refresh the org once it's finished its steps. Now that the app's installed, we want to go to the app launcher and then click on Active Campaign Setup Assistant. Now this is a really well put together wizard to get the integration set up. It's one of the best I've seen actually. So let's go through the steps involved and just see how easy they are. Okay, so the first thing it wants is API access to our account. So what we're gonna have to do is jump back over to Active Campaign, and the first thing they want to know is what is the URL. So we can grab that from here. paste that in and grab our API key. Now, you grab the API key from settings and then developer. And so we can just copy that key and paste it into this field. And then you run a little test to check that it works and that has worked. So great, we can move to the next step. So now that previous step allowed Salesforce to talk to ActiveCampaign and now we need to allow Active Campaign to talk back to Salesforce. So this is a more common setup step where it goes through an OAuth loop. And so we just need to make sure that it's accessing the right org. So allowing Active Campaign to access my trailhood org. So that's all good. Click allow. Excellent, so now that step is done. So now we've got both systems have permission to talk to each other. So next up we can look at field mapping. And there's a few steps to this, but it's all pretty straightforward. So um, the out of the box field mapping is perfectly fine in all cases. You can change it if you want to. Now this is custom field mapping, so we won't do any of this right now, but we can come back and add custom fields later. 
contact mapping again the standard mappings are fine but for example you could map phone to one of the other phone fields like home phone instead of business phone same deal with contact custom fields nothing right now but we'll revisit this and account mapping so that's pretty straightforward as well so that's great all done on the field mapping and now we can move to this next step so this is about working out when do you want to sync between the two systems so first up we're having a look at leads uh, so active campaign will sync with both leads and contacts but to active campaign everything is just a contact in their world so in this case I'm actually going to say not using leads we're just going to create a really simple integration between active campaign contacts and Salesforce contacts just to keep things nice and simple okay so there's a few different things we can do here and in this case I'm going to choose the option all contacts created updated from this day forward so we don't that means we don't have to think about things um, but the other options that we do have is contacts marked via process builder or custom method so this is actually a really good option where uh, you just have to set a pick list value to wait for the next sync and that will take care of that it allows you to build your own uh, process builder and flows to kind of update that field based on your criteria or you can create a criteria type system here uh, in the integration as well but for simplicity we, let's stick with all contacts created from this point forward and the last thing it does is create a scheduled job in the back end of Salesforce so we can just click schedule that's done and we're all done uh, this last component CX automation component will come back and add that to the page layout a little bit later but it's really just a case of dragging and dropping the lightning component onto the page layout and go from there so there we go all four steps done so now that we've got the integration set up let's see it working for real Okay, so let's cover off a couple of things. Uh, we want to add the component to the page layout, uh, and we want to create some new records and see if they sync to Active Campaign. So let's cover off two birds with one stone. Let's create a new contact first of all. Okay, now that we're viewing this record, let's jump in and edit the page layout. two active campaign uh, components so we can what we might do is let's add a new tab Yeah, so at the moment this record hasn't synced so when we come to this uh, we get this kind of message but well, let's wait until the next sync and come back and review this record then both here in Salesforce and in Active Campaign. So now the scheduled job for the Active Campaign integration has run so we should see this contact now in Active Campaign. So let's jump over to that tab and refresh. Here we go, here's our new contact. You'll see that Active Campaign uh, adds the tag created from Salesforce. So you can always group any contacts from Salesforce in Active Campaign. In part two, we'll cover syncing data back from Active Campaign to Salesforce and how you can use automations in Active Campaign to make this job easier. And there you have it, folks. A simple and easy to use integration between Salesforce and Active Campaign. If you got value out of this video, the best way you can show your appreciation is to like the video and hit the subscribe button below so you'll be notified of future videos in this channel.